Shadow Child on Rinse, and it is the uh, Christmas crate digging special. I've done this for eight years on the bounce now. It's pretty mad. It's pretty mad. And uh, we've had uh, everyone from Eats Everything to Spy to, oh, God knows who else. And this year, I thought, you lot, I always love the rave out there. I always love it when I play some old hardcore and jungle and stuff as well. And I'm a huge fan of this guy, Mr. Pete Cannon, is joining me oi, for this Christmas show. How are you, man? I am all good, fella. I am all good. Yeah, yeah. And what what is uh, Christmas looking like for you this year? I'm. Uh, I've just started. Right, I'll just get straight into it. I've just started a little modular synth setup. So all I'm doing is asking everybody around the family if they could buy me like new modules for my setup. So uh, Christmas <laughs> is looking well modular. Can we say <laughs> that? Yeah, yeah. I love it, man. I love it. Straight in oh. there, not hanging about. So you've you've just no. so for any of the nerds out there who are into a little bit of music production will be aware maybe what that is. But for anyone that doesn't that just tunes in for the music, these are these little weird boxes that you join up with cables. You might see pictures of studios on Instagram with these weird boxes with cables everywhere. That, that's that, that's that's modular basically, and the noises you get yeah. from it are like like none none other. But uh, your noises have been impressing me and everyone else for a long time, man. You're someone who's very true to uh the craft uh shall we say of making underground dance music especially uh you know anything that sounds old school ravey anything like that where where did it all start for you because like i imagine you're a little bit younger than me uh but where where did it begin where did you first hear that music and think yeah i want to make these beats oh mate i mean yeah well like with the explosion of rave music like 92 in the charts i was i think it was only about 10 but just hearing Hearing those tracks like The Prodigy and, you know, even stuff like Injected with the Poison, I was like, there must be more, must be more of this type of stuff. And somebody gave me an Easy Groove tape. And from there, uh, it just blew my mind. And it's, I don't think it's stopped ever since, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was like Obsession, kind of 92. And then, you know, just collecting tapes in school and then getting my first synthesizer, which was like a DX7 from like, you wow. know, little little local shop and figuring out how to you know like make make sounds and then that's when the amiga came in and from there i'm still using the amiga with the akai and still trying to do it do it in that kind of shall we say traditional way that like music was made back then you know what i mean yeah i mean i know a lot of um producers in this game that you know that was a start point for them even if they make house music now that era of music and that mm. era of music making and and so many people just oh. been blown away that you the way that you're you're making music i mean don't, don't get me wrong you get stuck in on ableton and everything else as well but oh yeah it's a, a mix of the two new worlds because you, you can't ignore what's going on as well in like the, the new stuff yeah. the amazing plugin but it's nice just like you know having a myriad of starting points to make music if it's the amiga it's the atari or the akai do you know what i mean it's yeah just, a little spark for the idea so love it yeah. love it yeah, yeah yeah it's funny you said about the tapes at school i was the tape dealer at my school i was Is I, it? I was like <laughs> <laughs> i was at night 91 sort of time like everyone would be like have you got any new tapes you know because i would be the guy that i don't know it was like i was the first person in school to really take it kind of seriously other than a few of the older kids did you have the high speed dubbing so you know you could yes. like you know copy the tapes really quickly Used you to, get eight done in a night. Yeah, you used to lose a little bit of uh, quality doing the high-speed dubbing, obviously, but yeah. This is it. I, I got a new tape pack in the post yesterday. I got a roast one. It's like, it, it's not stopping. You know, <laughs> it's not just, stopping. What is it's it? not stopping. What is it you think that is still so infectious about that sound? Because we got a lot of new DJs, new young DJs playing this kind of sound still. Uh, whenever I play, which I'm guilty of several times a year here on Rinse on my show, of playing the last half hour, doing a little crate digging section where I will play a lot of old music back then and the reaction is always immense but what what is it that's still so infectious about about that sound it's so honest and so energetic and so in my my eyes it's very pure and it's like instantly yeah. relatable you know what I mean and it's the energy at the minute as well that people you know people want to go out and I see like the music's even getting a bit harder at least like people are playing banging 160 techno and people are playing hardcore across the board and jungle it can all happen and everyone's like yeah it feels like it's having a 
a full on resurgence and there's um, as you say loads of ace DJs out there yeah uh, playing it and, and producing it you know it's, it's great it feels real good it feels real good yeah yeah which is a title of an amazing record from that era but anyway we'll move on uh, nice, so, nice. <laughs> see what I did there uh, so we're going to head into the next hour uh, from you where, where are you going to be taking us well, I mean, I, th I think I'm going to go from maybe, you know, as I say, starting the 92 Easy Groove kind of style. And then I've got a few, I mean, I've probably got a 94. I've got a few exclusive remixes that I've done. It's coming out on Night Force. There's a DJ Solo Dark Age remix that I've got in there. Wicked. And then some of the new, new production as well with people like, you know, Tim Reaper, yeah. a bit of Coco, uh, my mate T Cuts. There's, you know, there's lots of good. Yeah. 140 to 160 rave and breakbeat jungle music out there. So, yeah, yeah uh, a smorgasbord, shall we say. <laughs> like, super Love rave. One of, love one of them at Christmas. Definitely. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, yeah. thank, thanks for jumping in and doing this for us this year. We we always have uh, fun doing this Christmas uh, crate digging show. So, Pete Cannon, thank you so much, man. Everyone, check out what Pete's up to because it's always interesting and amazing. And uh, good luck for 22, man. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Happy Christmas. Rinse. Shadow Child on Rinse FM.
out of that into this. A little bootleg. Go ahead.
Sounds of the local group. Before that, yo, bitch, Bosch. Yeah, 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 yeah
Shadow Child on Rinse tonight. Christmas crate digging special with my guests in the background, Mr. Pete Cannon.
me original rubber dub style. Watch me original rubber dub style. Still got Pete Cannon with this year's Christmas Crate Digging special guest mix. Keep it locked till midnight. Rubber Dub Style
Tim Reed, Prince Sully. Now into Frantic and Impulse. What a weighty banger. Sounds a remark, the vibes going in. This next one taken from the edge. This is my remix. Nuki, Sound of Music. Coming on Night Force Records soon. Big shout to Nuki, the legend. Reinforce Records. Take this from the edge.
Shadow Child on Red Summer. Our guest for this year's Christmas crate digging special is Pete Cannon.
This one, It's Like Ecstasy, by myself, out on AKO. Shout going out to stretch every time. Listen to that crusty Amiga. Okay, last one then. This is my remix of Dark Age by DJ Solo coming on Night Force very soon. Have a listen, see what you think. Shout out to Shadow Chow and big up to Rinse FM. Oi. Shouts to Mr. Pete Cannon. That is just about it from me, Shadow Child, for this year on Rinse, my last show of 2021. Shouts to my producer Andy and everyone behind the scenes here at Rinse for keeping it all ticking over nicely in these crazy, crazy times. Keep safe, you lot, and Merry Christmas. Jungle it, 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 jungle it